Do you get anxious when you hear about math equations? Well, then there's a lot for you to learn in this video. Or perhaps you are an engineer who thinks they have it all figured out. But can you solve all the 22 questions each in just 90 seconds? Don't worry, you don't need to attempt all the questions. If you can attempt 14 to 16 questions, with 10 to 12 of them being correct, you are closer to achieving the 99 percentile. Preparing for the quant section requires a specific approach and strategy, where speed and accuracy matter the most. And that's exactly what we are here to discuss. Firstly, we will talk about understanding the syllabus and the topic-wise weightage so that you don't skip any important topic during your preparation. Next, we will discuss how to start your preparation and which topic to start with to help you prepare effectively for the exam. Additionally, we will discuss the best books and study materials for the quant section to ensure that you are studying from resources that align with the CAT exam's level. Following that, we will talk about creating a study routine and setting realistic targets to keep you motivated and focused on your ultimate objective. We will also discuss how to practice effectively, starting from questions to mocks. Furthermore, we will talk about question-solving tricks to help you solve a question in less than 90 seconds. Lastly, we will discuss how to revise smartly by making your own study material which will help you out in your last-minute preparation. To start, let's take a closer look at the quant section of the CAT exam. The quant section consists of 22 questions out of 66, with a time allotment of 40 minutes. The difficulty level is moderate. For this section, it's essential to have a good understanding of the syllabus and weightage to perform well. Unlike other exams, the CAT quant syllabus is not predefined, which makes it challenging to prepare. However, after analyzing previous year's papers, Edurev experts have prepared an extensive list of topics for the quant syllabus that you can refer to. In terms of weightage, the quant section typically has 10 questions from arithmetic, 5 from algebra, 3 from geometry, and 4 from modern maths. Additionally, when it comes to topic-wise weightage, number systems, geometry, and algebra contributes to more than 60% of the weightage in the quant section. By mastering these topics, you will be able to score above 95 percentile in this section. Now that you have a basic understanding of the quant section, let's take a look at how you can start preparing for it. Before you jump into the preparation mode, you should take a diagnostic test first. Now, you might be thinking, why should I take a test when I am not even prepared? Well, this is not just any test. It's a practice test that will help you identify your weak areas and give you an idea of where you stand. This test will give you a glimpse of what level of questions would be asked in the actual exam. Now that we have the diagnostic test out of the way, dedicate your first week to Vedic Maths. Let us discuss one of the tricks for multiplying a two-digit number by 11. Simply add the digits of the number together and then put this sum between the original two digits. This will give you the desired result. Tricks like these help you solve complex problems in seconds, reducing the amount of time you spent on a question and increasing accuracy. Plus, Vedic Maths builds the base for other concepts like ratios, percentages, and averages. Along with that, it's important to remember square and cube roots, as these are often used to save time in complex calculations. Edurev offers videos that teach Vedic math tricks from squares to cube roots, enabling you to solve problems in a faster and more efficient manner. After devoting your first week to Vedic maths, start your preparation with arithmetic, moving on to algebra, geometry, and finally modern maths. Once you have set a solid foundation for your preparation, it's time to explore the best books and study materials to further enhance your skills in the quant section. First and foremost, make sure to go back to the basics and refer to your NCRT textbooks. Solve the entire Class 8 NCRT book cover to cover. This will not only help you build a strong foundation but also give you a good amount of practice. Now, when it comes to concept building, Arun Sharma and Nishit K. Sinha's books are an absolute must-have. 
Their books have been the go-to resource for cat aspirants for years and for good reason. Make sure to solve as many problems as possible from their books to gain a deep understanding of the concepts. If you want to save time and have all the study material in one place, then Eduref study material for quant is the perfect solution for you. Its courses are based on Arun Sharma's book and offer over 150 tests, video lectures, previous year questions, mock tests, and level-wise tests. So, you can say goodbye to the hassle of searching for different study materials. With the study material sorted, let's shift our focus to setting up a study routine and targets for your preparation. First things first, let's start with the number of questions you should attempt each day. We recommend starting with 30 questions per day and gradually increasing it by 5 questions every week until you reach your target of 50 questions per day. But remember, don't try to solve all the questions in one go. Break them down into sets of 20-20-10. It's like eating a pizza slice by slice instead of trying to shove the whole thing in your mouth at once. Once you're comfortable, start setting targets of getting 8 questions correct by devoting 5 minutes per question during the initial stages of your preparation. Gradually increase your pace and accuracy to achieve 12 questions correct by devoting 3 minutes to each question. Math can be intense, so taking breaks is crucial. Solving Sudoku or playing the 2048 game during your free time is an excellent way to unwind and give your brain a break, allowing you to come back stronger. But, let's be clear, practicing for hours without a plan is like trying to drive a car without a map you'll end up lost and frustrated. So, here is how to practice smart for the cat quant section. Firstly, your aim should be to attempt questions and learn from them. Don't waste time on a single question. Add a timer to improve your speed and accuracy. Next, regardless of your syllabus completion, attempt at least one to two mock tests per month in the beginning. After attempting the mocks, you must analyze them to identify your weak areas. Edurus Test Analyzer provides real-time percentile and All India rank, allowing you to constantly keep track of your performance. You can even review and reattempt questions you marked for review or got wrong. This helps you track your strengths and weaknesses and work towards improving your scores. Finally, if you're ever stuck on a question or have doubts related to a concept, don't hesitate to seek help. Clear your doubts from your mentor or upload them on Eduref's forum where experts will help you out in no time. Remember, practice hard, but practice smart. And, if you're lucky, the cat might just purr in your favor. Now, let's dive into some game-changing question-solving strategies that you can use during your next exam. The first approach is to start applying the tricks that you have learned while solving questions. Let's take an example question. Now, this question can be solved by two methods. The base method, where we need to introduce variables for solving the question. Or the shortcut method, where the total decrease acts as the base for the solution. Another strategy is to prioritize the questions you attempt. With negative markings for incorrect answers, it's important to only attempt questions that you are confident in answering correctly. Skip any questions that you are uncertain about to avoid hurting your overall score. It's important to focus on accuracy instead of attempting to answer every question. It's more beneficial to solve 47-57% to of the questions with 80% accuracy than to attempt to answer 80% of the questions but only solve 40-50% to of them accurately. Edurus algorithms categorize questions into easy, medium, and hard levels on the solutions page. This helps you to analyze if you are spending too much time on difficult questions or if you are getting the easy ones wrong. Now that we have covered some game-changing question-solving strategies, let's move on to a smart way to revise which will help you out in your last-minute preparations. First things first, create a formula book. Write down all the formulas that you encounter in one place along with methods to solve some special questions. You must refer to this formula notebook while practicing questions and revise it before giving a mock test. To ensure that you have all the essential formulas at your fingertips, 
it's recommended that you take a look at the comprehensive list of important formulas provided in a Dura's Quant course. Next, make a separate notebook for a question bank. In this notebook, you must keep adding questions with higher difficulty levels and the ones that require a special approach. Once you're done compiling the questions in the bank, make sure to solve them at the end of every month or give a test out of it. The best thing about this question bank is that if you encounter the same question or a question with a similar concept, it will take you less time to solve it. Isn't that amazing? As we approach the end of the video, let's do a quick recap of what we have covered so far. First and foremost, make sure you understand the exam format and the weightage of each topic. To build a strong foundation, start with Vedic Mathematics in and complete the Class 8th Math and CRT textbook and refer to the recommended resources. Edural study materials are a great resource with access to numerous video lectures, tests, and documents. Next, make sure to practice consistently and analyze your progress along the way. Identify appropriate questions and use shortcut methods to save time and increase accuracy. Finally, maintain two notebooks containing important formulas and a question bank for a quick revision. So, take the first step, follow the tips and strategies we discussed today, and with the support of Eduriv, success is within your reach.